Hello, kiddos out there. We are back here, unknown and untitled. It is a new month. It is new, new experiences. Year. No, it's not a new year yet, you fucker. Um, but here we are. We have Elliot with us today. Hey, He's out here on the couch. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Party time. Excellent. Brew, yeah. brew, 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 brew. Um, so... Guys, what the fuck is up? What the fuck's up, dude? What the fuck is up? Ooh. So, <laughs> I can get started on that. <laughs> so, uh, new month means sober October is over. Oh yes, boys and girls. So, um, what exactly? How do y'all feel about sober October? <laughs> it was good. Is that trademarked? Are we going to be allowed to play that? No, I think we're good. <laughs> it was good, but um, towards the end, it was getting a little rough. Yeah. How so? Um, I think maybe diet-wise. Yeah. I think diet-wise, it was like... It was getting real rough. Like, I, I get really that. really start fiending for like, a, I don't know, a hamburger or a hot... <laughs> See, that's the thing. I'm not, I'm not a big beef person, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But chicken, I really craved. Yeah, I get that. I didn't really do much of the diet, I so I didn't have... this, but we went over the... Well, at least... Did we go over the pescatarian diet? I think we did on the last one. Did we? Not really. No? No, didn't. not really. No. Well, I mean, Ellie and I have been doing a pescatarian diet. I kind of changed it up a little bit uh, pretty early on into sober October, but basically we were supposed to only eat fish. I had changed it to just fish and chicken. So basically I just wasn't eating red meats. I know you were a little bit more strict on your pescatarian diet for a while. Yeah. I mean, I probably went through with it, um, till about, you did most of the month. Yeah. Yeah. I would probably say till maybe the 20, 20th or so. And then I, there was, a little bit of meals I had chicken with, and then obviously I had that friend's wedding to go to, and all they had was beef. So I had I did eat some beef, but obviously we did exempt that from. The yeah. Whole so uh, actually, that was a question I had that I don't think I ever got to ask you. Did you end up uh, drinking at all at that wedding? Um. Yeah. Okay. I could not obtain. No. No. Yeah. You're. Like, they wouldn't <laughs> let me obviously get a beer or anything. Uh -huh. I didn't try, but. Uh, you weren't allowed to bring alcohol into the event, but my friend left a bottle of Jack Daniels out in the car, and so all we did was order a Coke, drink a little bit out of it, go back out to the car, pour some uh, Jack Daniels in it, and bring it back in. Damn, sweet. But I, I, I didn't even finish that can, so I mean, I, I didn't drink too much. Oh, I, like I said, we, we gave you a pass for that, if you really wanted to. We, uh, we were clean the whole month, really, I think, right? You were clean the whole month? Yeah. Yeah, I was clean the whole month. Yeah. Um, and so we celebrated. And boy, did we celebrate hard. Oh, yeah. Still feeling, <laughs> we're still feeling it's it. Been it's days. been two days, and we're still feeling it. I've had the shits for dude, so bad, dude. Dude, me too. Today. <laughs> I had a fever yesterday. I drank myself into a fever. And now, now I've got the shits. It's rough. It's a rough life. Dude, just thinking about it makes me sick. Yeah. Oh. I, I, I was telling Elliot last night, like, I, I realized that I'm never, I'm not ever, like, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to become an alcoholic. <laughs> I think it was the food that made it the worst. The food, food made it a problem. lot worse. Like, it was great, but, like, nobody spewed afterwards? No. no. I oh, I didn't, I didn't tell you, but I, I told him. I, the next morning I woke up, and I was, like, mostly still, like, not not yeah. there at all. And I still felt fucking awful, so I literally just gagged myself. Cause I was like, oh, this sucks. Like my stomach was still hurting so bad. Like so you forced yourself. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. I was like, this sucks. I felt much better afterwards. <laughs> but Maybe that's what I should have done. Cause I didn't, and it it took a while. I still kind of feel feel my stomach stretched out and everything. Yeah, yeah. It it hurts, it's man. Better. It hurts I <laughs> so much, and then I've been eating even more still. <laughs> you need to chill out, man. Yeah, well, like I got like my coworkers got me something since I paid for food the other day. Uh huh. So I was like, I didn't want to eat today, but okay, fuck. And then I, and you guys brought up the pumpkin pie. <laughs> and I you had, ate 
most of the pumpkin pie. Yeah, I didn't I bring up pies. the pumpkin pie. The pumpkin pie was sitting in the corner. Man. I, I, love, I love my pies. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Sorry, I love my pies. But yeah, so uh, it was it was it was a good uh, good little experience. Uh, do you guys feel like you? Uh, what's the? Let's do this. What's the main thing you guys feel like you got out of sober October? Um, honestly, uh, obviously you guys know that I've been going through a lot of uh, mental issues. <laughs> yeah. A lot of things in my personal life, and I think, I mean, I think we went over this, but I think self discipline is just Mm -hmm. a big thing yeah just like that's the thing about like with the diet it's like at first probably the first 10 days it's like you have to know like hey i cannot eat like beef or chicken or anything like beef. if you want to eat meat you gotta eat fish and then i mean throughout the throughout the rest of the month it was like it just kind of came naturally yeah yeah I think that's something I got out of it too. Self discipline more than anything. Mm-hmm. Um, I learned what I need and what I don't need in my life. Yeah. Uh, so just what elaborate on that a little bit. Well, well when it if comes you don't mind. Like sober October, it's about you know drinking, smoking. We weren't allowed to do that. I realized how much I didn't need to smoke all the time. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a nice thing, but you don't need it. I agree. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing that I think I learned was learning how to work with myself. Uh huh. That was like what we were talking about with like yeah. rule four specifically. Yeah, from Jordan Peterson. Yeah, just like learning how to reward and discipline through reward yourself, mm-hmm. which is really, really something. It's interesting in that chapter talking with yourself, figuring out what's yeah. for you. How you're mo- what you're a very complex machine that nobody truly understands fully. So yeah, understand that weird things can work too. You don't have to be like serious about everything uh-huh yeah it's it's really interesting because uh some of the people i've talked to about doing sober october and they realize like everything that you know we were being you know like going without um they are always so like oh that doesn't like that sounds like a buzzkill like you know why would you do that and a lot of people just don't a lot of people have you know been like what the fuck at, at the whole idea of sober october and i'm like I, it's just interesting because you know it's like it's like it's more about the discipline like yeah, we were saying it and it's it's astounding how non-disciplined people are yeah like, they don't even notice it the and the fact that they find that weird right is- is weird in its own right. Exactly. How, 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 how would you find that weird? Right. You know, like to just allow yourself to be yeah. cleansed for the majority of, for the entire month. And they, they look at you like you're a fucking freak, man. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, dude. When I, I, I mean, at work, I mean, I would have people like, I don't know, they would have like beef jerky or something like that. They would offer me something like, no, dude, I'm on this like diet for the month. They would give me a, they would give me a weird look. That I'm on this pescatarian mm-hmm. diet, like something's wrong with me. Yeah, it's it's just I'm crazy. Like, so, like people people don't want to accept that you know you are trying to like you know just it just and they're like why you know and it's it's it, why yeah, would you do that and it's like I, I, I'll give my coworkers if they weren't like that at all to me they actually found mm-hmm. it quite like inspiring and in yeah life. but. Uh, a lot of like regulars that come in I talk to and bring it up and those were the ones who they didn't like outrightly go that's fucking weird Mm -hmm. but they would like almost seem uncomfortable with the idea it was like subconsciously they couldn't they they couldn't do it yeah it's it's really it's it's been weird because I and every time someone asks why I'm like I, I can't really I mean like I didn't realize that like it needed that much explaining, you right. know, like, cause I couldn't really necessarily just explain it. Cause it's, you know, like, right. you're like, I, I figured this would be something, you know, that would be really, really easy to understand, you know, yeah. but no. I guess it's not. Um, but I think all in all sober October was, it was good. We, we were all pretty successful yeah. at it. Um, and again, like we said, it's been uh, November for three days now. We're still feeling the effects of November first. So sorry if uh, <laughs> sorry if if things are a little slowed down this this podcast. Absolute mess here too. <laughs> yeah, but um, another thing uh, that in a week ago 
you and I saw, I think, one of our most anticipated movies of the year. Oh, yeah. We saw The Lighthouse. Wonderful. Fan freaking fantastic man uh yeah so quick mind fuck quick quick little lighthouse review the lighthouse i was i was looking forward to so much for for months for months i was hooked the instant i saw the trailer um and i just i i fell in love with it and it it was not necessarily what i expected but um i didn't really know what to expect and but it was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. I honestly think, you know, we were talking about kind of you know award season and all during for the lighthouse, you know, like Oscars and stuff. And we were like, I don't really know how you would give this an award. It's just so weird, you know. But Willem Dafoe, I think, actually definitely deserves a oh, yeah. like a, a supporting actor nomination he, he, was, he was fantastic both of them were wonderful. they were both great they were both great robert elliot's, pattinson uh, elliot's over here looking yeah. at the uh looking it up and everything yeah it, elliot it didn't see it yeah um it's at an 8.4 on imdb and a 90 percent on metacritic yeah what is it what's it at on rotten tomatoes huh. uh, rotten, 92 percent. damn it's so fucking stupid what I don't know that he was in the movie. Uh, Who? Bob Pattinson? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a. Uh, he, he impressed the hell out of me. I, uh, you know, we've been. There's been a lot of Robert Pattinson talk uh, recently Batman. because of Batman. Um, and I had the same initial reaction that everybody did when I'm like, oh, that Twilight guy. Yeah. that was my own ignorance of course um but and then i started finding out that he's been doing real like interesting roles over the last several years uh some auteur you know directors um and i hadn't seen any of them and i want to go back and watch them but the lighthouse was was a major eye opener that man is brilliant yeah he was fantastic you know uh batman I, I, I haven't looked this up in a minute, so you might want to look this up. Um, Batwoman, the show, did you hear about that? Uh, what exactly about it? It's already been bombing. Yeah, yeah, it dropped, I think the first week it did actually pretty decently, and then like week two it dropped down to, like, it dropped like over half of its... 3.2 of on IMDb. Is that Batwoman or is that Batwoman the, the movie? Is there a Batwoman movie? Oh, yep, that's right. Dove and Shoes. I couldn't remember if there was, but the pictures look like that one from a couple of movies mm, and stuff. Gotcha. Yep. Damn, the television series, 3.2. 51% like this TV show. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. I I saw the trailer, and I I, I didn't give it, I didn't give it a chance. I didn't even bother with it. I'm not all the all the CW shows now. I feel like have really gone in the dumps. A lot of people like the CW shows. I'm sorry, but they all look kind of cheesy and crappy. That's why I I've never watched them. I I still really liked the first couple seasons of The Flash. The Flash was good. Um, Arrow, I Arrow was decent. Arrow, Arrow looked like a soap opera. I mean, just the just the the hue of the of the show. Yeah, yeah that's what because like every time I would talk to someone about like, oh, have you seen like daredevil or the punisher off netflix and stuff and they're like no but have you ever watched arrow or the flash and i'm just like i've watched an episode of flash and it's just like it's got like that the the, the cinematography and everything just got like that teen wolf vibe it does i will admit that it does well that was also another cw show i think too wasn't it teen wolf yeah Yeah. (laughs) so i guess it's just the cw pattern the cw (laughs) has this weird coloration that just yeah Old. Yeah, it's weird. It I I, I will man. yeah, I will yeah, I will say that there's no there's no impressive like visual work I, in my opinion in any the of the Flash was the closest one that I thought had a kind of decent visual. Yeah. Gotham was no. Gotham was Fox? I don't I think it's Fox. Yeah. I'm, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's Fox. It's not it if it is on the CW, it's not part of the CW verse. No, it's not. Yeah, it's I know. It takes place in the past. Yeah. The, yeah, I, I would, I would say Gotham. I think it's Gotham. Good. Yeah, yeah. I never got to watch. I never ended up watching any Watched Gotham, but it from it all the trailers, second, all the trailers, it did look pretty damn good. So I watched like a little bit into the second season. Mm-hmm. It was good. Yeah, I haven't. I didn't really want. I didn't I did watch, watch Supergirl. Oh, is it over now? Oh yeah. Oh. I, I had no idea. When Batman come, when 
Batman Rises, dude. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. This is punctuality. Halloween party, and the thing that they had at the White House was uh, kids get to build the wall. So I guess you get like a, a little card stock that looks like a brick, and I guess you write your name on it, and then they just stick it all together, and it makes it a wall. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? What? Oh, Dude, what the fuck is the world become? What the hell? Like where, it, where the, the White House is memeing it, itself. I know. <laughs> Literally, they're. They that had to be they had to know they what the know, fuck they what, know people would laugh about that. That's like, ridiculous. That's insane. What the shit? There we go. Hold up. Yeah. And you know people are pissed. Like just laugh oh, about it. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, yeah it's, it's honestly funny. yeah, like kids okay. build kids building the fucking wall. What post, build the wall game at kids' White House party spooks Trump's Trump, Trump critics. critics. Uh, children of Trump administration employees got to quote unquote build the wall with personalized bricks at the White House pre Halloween party <laughs> and gave some of their parents a fright. It seems almost like it we seems like an horrified. onion thing, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's it does like, this does it doesn't sound real at all. It's, this, oh, there's a picture. Yeah, there's a legitimate picture i mean i hope you can edit this where you can just get a picture in the corner or whatever yeah oh shit what word oh is it wanting to show me okay oh, oh my go. god yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god it's, <laughs> <No. laughs> it says america it's got little construction what the right fuck what america the first. fuck Oh, the construction signs say America first. Oh, shit. America first. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Dude, it, th that's, it doesn't even sound real. It doesn't sound real at all. What the hell? <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's, it's awful. It's, it's, it's kind of awful, but it's, it's, it's funny. It's funny? It doesn't make sense. It's, like, it's just how like, who would have thought Yeah, to do this? right? It's It s seems like such a meme of itself. I don't what care the hell? What side of the fence or well, wall, for this case, well, that you sit <laughs> on. It's pretty funny. It's, it's just <laughs> insane. It sounds almost like it sounds like a cult thing, you know, like they're yeah, training the their serious, they're training the kids to <laughs> to build the wall. It's yeah. all it's all it's like its own self-sustaining thing. Youth. Yes, right. <laughs> it's fucking like ridiculous. That, I mean, I, I, who came up with that idea? I'm curious. Who's yeah, your, like I, be like, yeah. "All right, you know what? And for the kids, we'll have a, we'll have these paper bricks and they are going to build a wall and next and like next is fucking cornhole with like a bomb in fucking china or some shit like you threw like you, yeah. the corn the cornhole is a, is like a bomb and then like one of them's like syria or something yeah. and you gotta you gotta get it in the cornhole to blow syria up <laughs> i can't believe that was the thing like that's that just, insane it just sounds like a parody of, of of real life in real life it literally it's a meme of itself yeah. like that has to be self-aware that has to be so self-aware you can't not be self-aware oh. doing that like you know you know exactly what's up with that that's hilarious damn that, that's the thing that i'm seeing a lot of times in in society now is just memeing reality itself yeah it's like fucking folding in on itself yeah there's everybody's just kind of like yeah whatever you know we we know what we, we know. know we suck whatever yeah I that's just great find that, like Let's laugh at the fact we suck and never try and improve. Like, that's just a thing nowadays. The, yeah, no, there's there's just no progress anymore. We all are kind of plateaued here. We're just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I just love it. Whatever. <laughs> at, at least American politics, it's like when you see something, you have to like do a double check on it because like you don't know if it's actually true or not because like Oh, shit. literally every single it's not one. Not just the president itself, but like just everyone. The shit that politicians say anymore. It's like, okay, I need to go. Yeah, check on that's this that's first. why I've I've given I've started giving uh, a lot of people more, a lot more benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Just because I'm like, you know, I'll hear something and I'm about you know just anybody, uh, any public figure or anything, and I used to just be quick to jump on the jump on the bandwagon, but. Now it's just like, y you never know, you know? I don't know, I don't know what they actually said, what they actually did, what they actually meant. Everything yeah. is, like, no matter who, it always gets misconstrued. This yeah. is, this is, 
this has been a thing that's irritated me a lot now, and it's just because I feel like nobody actually reads reads articles. Everybody's just a headline, yeah. a headline reader. That's right. literally right. it. Like, and headlines it, change the world. Man. Yeah, and granted, you know, you can argue that it's been like that for a long time, but especially in the like the last decade, it's well, aware now. Yeah, is, is the thing. Everybody's aware of everything, and we're in a stagnant cold war, staring each other down. Like uh, you, one of us is gonna fuck the other. Right. It, <laughs> it's just uh, it just gets tiring, man. It just gets yeah. tiring. You know, it's every everything is all just. Catering it, to the headline. I, I look at it as every single person is woke, but nobody's doing anything about it. We're all just staring it down. Like, well, we're fucking coming to the end. Yeah. <laughs> like, nobody wants to do anything. We're all just, like, laughing at the fact that this is that we know that this is a thing. Yeah. We know the NSA is always spying on us. Right. We know well, that, that one, yeah, that one, that one's a no-brainer. We, we know that the government is, is corrupt as fuck. We know they're all in it for money. But we're all just watching each other like, so who's going to fuck each other over next? Because <laughs> I'm not doing anything about it. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I think I would say, I think I would say there's some, pe- a good amount of people trying to still, you know, fight the power. Uh, but I mean. We all are, but we're all, in, no, we ain't, we're ineffective. Yeah. I don't know. We all know what we need to do, but we won't do it. What do you mean by that? I don't know. I'm, I, I, I think like we all, revolution is coming. Okay, but none of us well, do can, can we? Can That's we, why I wasn't gonna say it. You what, bastards. What, do you, what do you mean by revolution? Is the question. <laughs> like, you mean like a civil war? I would see a civil war. I don't know like if a, a physical, like armed combat civil war. I don't know about that anymore, though. At the same time, yeah, I I feel like that was more believable like a couple years I ago. I think it maybe? was too, but I think I don't know about since that now. Everything's becoming tech. Who knows what's how a war will be in the next couple of years. Yeah. That's the thing I've never understood. Hmm. Is, I mean, I like my guns and all too, but like, people really think that we can overthrow a government with just the oh, guns that we have now. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. All they gotta people... do is just get a drone Well, that's strike. part yeah. of why we're all staring each other down, because we know we can't win. Yeah, and they know we can't, but we know what they we know that they're lying to us. All yeah, the time. there's there's no secrets anymore. No. You know, like we're all. I mean, there's I, don't get me wrong. There's still like a lot of secrets. There's a vast, vast entire otherworldly oh, history yeah. that we don't there's even know. Fucking shadow government, shadow people, shadow exactly. Worlds, dude. Yeah, but I mean, we all we all believe it now. Like oh, yeah. there's there's no there's no uh, like disbelief that that they aren't fucking with us you yeah. know we're, we're being fucked with every yeah. day every and second we just, all we can do is laugh about it yeah because we're like well we can't do anything <laughs> yeah that's what i'm get, saying okay all right i get i get what you're talking about we all are staring each other now. down but no everybody knows that nobody can do anything about it so we're like well <laughs> well fuck. yeah <laughs> okay so so us basically in regards to like the government itself yeah. gotcha okay i get what you're saying on the track Online dating is complicated. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Oh I kid you not. Why? My, why is that? My lonely ass has like five apps for fucking online. Dating. I got two. Yeah. Dude, it is. I'm proud of you. I'm and proud of you for only stupid. having two. <laughs> the stupid thing is it's all the same shit. What do you mean? Like oh, it's yeah. just all swipe left and swipe Oh, yeah, oh, like yeah. each one doesn't differ like, from each other yeah, at all. Yeah. No I like, don't. There's some I'm of them trying. that have, like, different concepts. Like well, that one that, like, well, the dude, girl has to message you first Bumble, or whatever. That's the second one I have. Yeah. Dude, that's the thing that blows my mind is, like, obviously Match.com was, like, the always go-to back then. And oh, I'm, I don't like, know. Christian Mingle was mine. That doesn't even make sense for you. <laughs> Farmers, you're not even married. Farmersonly.com. No, but like, I thought Match was gonna be a little bit more precise, but then I get on there, and it's the same shit as Tinder. Don't you have to pay questions. for Match? Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking twenty bucks a month. <laughs> oh my god! Do you? You do don't you, have to pay for Tinder or any no, of the other ones. No, there's do you? Have to pay for there's Tinder. Tinder Premium, but yeah, yeah, yeah. and that sounds dirty. 
That sounds fucking dirty. Oh, that sounds baby. like Pornhub it's, it's premium. Very dirty. I'm sure that's like no. that sounds like a prostitution ring no. being run on Tinder. No, 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 no. It's not like that. <laughs> what what else do you get? Is it just um, more like swipes or something? You get the superpower stuff. Like if you swipe wrong on somebody, you can rewind it. And, yeah, you can rewind it. Um, you can super like somebody, which means you're on the top of their list ah. when they log in. Well, I you see. can buy super likes without having the premium. But I, you can see who likes you. I think if you have premium, though, it regenerates over time. So huh. like, if you wait a day, you get five more extra super likes or whatever. Yeah. Um, which that's that's the thing with that's the thing with <coughs> match and what's that other one, Hilly or whatever it's called. What? Hilly. Oh, I know. What you're oh, talking I don't about. know. You, you see the ads all over Snapchat. It's the same thing. And I've it, never and also have I've actually never used that. I've never online have, dated, so yeah, I, you, you're lucky okay? <laughs> because, dude, it is. I can tell there. you both have had a you both have had a lot of issues dude, on in the you, online community. When you think you hook on to someone, and then either they block you, or I didn't tell you guys this, but the other day. <laughs> I was I was talking to someone and like we were probably talking for f- three or four days, and then she finally asked me, "Would you date a seventeen year old?" And I'm like, "Oh, I've been scared of that." No. I was like, "Okay, no, <laughs> all right, <laughs> I'm out of there. Of that. Never mind." I've been really scared of that before. Yeah, I never had it happen, happen but because she's yeah. like, "You have to meet my mother first and I'm like, uh, "Okay, okay. And that's fine." Uh, and yeah, that's a big like, deal. Uh, Because she was she was eighteen, and I was like, uh, you know, would you date someone a little bit older than you? And she's like, yeah, that's fine. And then I'm like, she's like, would you date someone that's seventeen? And I'm I'm like, like, nope. And I was like, when's your birthday? She's like, June. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, All right. I was like, maybe if it was like November, December. Yeah, if it was coming up. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, June. No. Yeah, yeah. You're you're still twenty, so like, it's not that's not a. Super, I haven't had anything like that happen. I've had some people like to I've talked to and they just back out out of nowhere and we were like, uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I've also the, I've also been that guy one one yeah. other time I think. Yeah. The stupid hilly app though is, it you can obviously use your let it access your GPS so it knows where you're at so it tries to find people in that radius, but you'll sit there and you'll keep on swiping through but and you'll start reading people's description. And been, all of a sudden, you get somebody in Wisconsin. Yeah, there's like Wisconsin, or like a lot of the people that I've seen, they're they're like from you know, California or some shit. Jesus like, Christ, what the? This isn't gonna work out. <laughs> like I've talked maybe to start a, that's maybe start a long Ontario distance. That would work out better. Damn, I, I that's one thing that I don't think I could ever do is long distance. I refuse you know. to do it. I've seen I'll, people go through it. It's like me fun. and Michaela were technically long distance, like not necessarily that long distance, but. I mean, it depends on how long, too. Right. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, like, when she was going to school and stuff, like, it was it was kind of, but not really. Mm-hmm. Like, I still got to see her somewhat regularly. But, but I mean, it, it wasn't, you know, we, we weren't seeing each other every day. She wasn't, like, 15, 20 minutes away. She was, you know, like, two and a half hours away. You know, and, like, we were able to make that work. But, I you know, I think only because we were <laughs> able to see each other still, like, every, every couple of weekends. So... I- I think I would be okay if someone, like, maybe lived, like, a state or two over. But obviously it would have to be, like, a really solid, like, bonding before, you know, you meet up with them. Uh-huh. Like, you would Like a genuine, like, like a full-out online yeah, relationship. Like, I want to meet this person. Yeah. So what like, kind of girls, what are you into? What do you mean, like, personality-wise? Preferences. What Preference are your preferences? Because I'm starting to see it's very, uh... Asian. Yeah. yeah, a lot of Kauai in there, man. And I don't mean to say that negatively. No. <laughs> <laughs> there are people, Watch your tone, young man. <laughs> there are people that I, white girls that I have that I personally <laughs> known, and I've asked them out. And like this morning, you know, I, I asked someone. I said, you know, hey, would you like to go catch a movie? And they said, I'm with someone right now. And I was like, okay. Ooh. Like, well. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, that's fine, but I, I don't know, dude. I enjoy modest, more modest women. Yeah. But oh, what, what sorry. exactly do you mean? I enjoy more modest women, dude. <laughs> what, what exactly do you mean by that? Okay, since you have not gotten on Tinder yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Since you have not gotten on Tinder yet, <laughs> shut up. Since you have not gotten on Tinder yet, if you get on there, probably let's see. Uh, mm, I would probably say about eighty percent of them are uh, more of their ass is showing than their face. The oh picture. right, I'm not surprised. Um, another ten percent is. Probably. Are you okay? You're like fiending over here. What's going on? <laughs> what? What's he, he doing? He's shaking his leg. I'm sorry. He I just sh shakes I, his leg, I, man. I'm like, I'm like sitting right on top of his leg, and he's going. <laughs> <laughs> he's making noises. Um, no, but uh, and probably like the other ten percent is like bots, and then then yeah, you have what that would narrow us down. Back away a little bit. Ten no, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the word out here. <laughs> People need to know. <laughs> if you have a high school sweetheart right now, dude, stick with them because it is rough out here. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. It's worked out pretty well That's for me. That's the thing. It's like more, more of that shit is like it's about looks because if they look at it and they're like, he's not cute. It's yeah, like, they're you not going to sit mean, there. Dude, that's the that's the thing is like it's hard to actually get to meet and know somebody oh, dude, if you're not in school. Hard. If you're not in school, there's very there's very little opportunities for for new social circles. Yeah, it's it's rough, man. It, I, I I don't know. You have to be in order to really be doing that. You have to be like really outgoing. Yeah, and like really be just actually seeking like be like oh I need to go make some like you know new friends or something. So you know you go out somewhere and be like those are people I like and just be like hey guys. You know, like I don't know how you, yeah, I don't know like how I don't you know, match. I don't know how you, like I. The only reason I've gained, like it, I've you know really met anybody since after, uh, like high school was because I'm I'm in school now and like and that and then your work, you know, like yeah. those. The only time you ever really meet new people, I feel like, is if you're in school or, or if you have a job. And it's even hard, even with the people at, at your job too, because like. For me, like, I would love to hang out with the dudes that I work with, but, like, at the same time, they also live in another state. Yeah, right. It, so it's like, then I'd have to drive, like, 30 minutes into Ohio yeah. just to, like, hang out with them, and that's why we don't. We just kind of, like, because they mingle together. Yeah. Do they know. outside of work? A little bit. Okay. I figured yeah. they didn't really. Yeah. I mean, I, a little bit. I think I think that's, like, the really, uh, we might have a visitor. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, uh, I here he is. Oh, that dog. He's joining dog. the scene. What's up, dog? Yay. Um, but I think that's uh, that's the really rough part. Is like, I don't know, dude. Hi, I think Eric. it's more about looks anymore. Dude. He's not gonna piss on me if I look no, him up, right? He's not gonna piss on you, dude. Oh, he's just okay. He wasn't for it. He wasn't for it, dude. That's, that's how cool. I feel. Like, that's cool, man. <laughs> like you just you start petting them and then they just. They're freaking back off. <laughs> <laughs> it's not You're describing women as dogs. Uh, Can I get you on record saying that, Elliot? Are you describing women as dogs? Bitches. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. No, but yeah, dude, it's 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 complicated out there. Yeah. You stay with what you got. <laughs> I plan on it, man. I oh, plan no, on it. Uh, school. You fucking hold on to that, man. <laughs> you hold school. on to her, man. School, though. No, but I'm talking about like most of the women now are in. Or whatever. Right. So they're probably gonna want to go with someone that's also at a university. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, true. That's, it does make it easier. That's 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 the rough part. Uh, that, that's the rough part about uh, about about being at this age. Yeah, being at this age. It doesn't matter. They have a kid. <laughs> yeah, that's it, dude. There's a. It's kind of crazy seeing some of the people who have kids now. It really is. Yeah. It's. It, it makes me uncomfortable. The fact that, you know, there's some people literally like fresh out of high school, oh, you know, yeah. and, and obviously that's been a thing for a long time. That's always a thing. But that's just to me, to me, that's 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 weird. I could like I couldn't I it's, couldn't do that. It's it's in a really rough spot because like, yeah, so like yeah. if you can, if you can do it more power to you. I just don't have that type of type of discipline it, or it takes, it takes willpower. Yeah, like like that's you, that's a big big sacrifice. Yeah. And granted, it, it, you know, it, it's probably an unplanned sacrifice, but you know, it's it's just and, that's a lot. That's a lot of responsibility to take right out of the gate. You know, for me personally, it's like 
uh, that's one of my big things is like I don't I don't really want a kid until I'm like 30 yeah. and so I so I have some time to you know that's what most people say too yeah and so then, I have time to live and it another work out that no way. it doesn't another <laughs> shitty thing about all this right now is because like in the age range that we're in mm. you don't want to go too far back because then they'll just be in high school yeah we talked about the other day, like, yeah I don't know about dating something for high school so it's like you pretty much have a choice of 19 20, or late 18. Yeah, yeah, because also, like you were saying, if, if you go... 21, then they're like, most of them are like, oh, I like to go out and have a little drink here. Yeah. And it's like... Well, I feel like, I feel like 21 isn't, isn't isn't too far of a reach. Like, even I mean, it's if not the, too far of a reach, but from the ones that I... The, like even the even if they do like to go out and drink, it's kind of like you know like all right, I mean that's fine, whatever you know. But yeah, but I mean if if they're like twenty five, I feel like twenty five to me right now seems like a little too far, you know. That's like, a stretch. Yeah, because like they're they're probably if they did go to school, they're they're done and graduated more than likely, and yeah. they're like working a successful job. Like I don't know. At that point, it just kind of seems like you know, like. You uh, we, like we said, you'd be with someone who's like way ahead of the, in the game than you. Granted, they might be understanding, but from like an own consciousness level, you yeah. know, I'd be like, You're "Fuck!" Like, oh, like oh, I feel like a kid. kid. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> it, it'd be bad. When they were my age, I was only fifteen years old. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard, man. I feel you. I feel like I'm pushing myself. Hmm. You know, but you just gotta be good with you, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's that's a hard thing to balance. I feel like if you start to build your own online persona a lot better, I think it helps out. Oh yeah. Oh that that's that's a big like, thing. It kind of sucks. You know, I was having I, I got thought. 50 subscribers on YouTube channel. You want to check it out? <laughs> I was a thought about that actually today, uh -huh. earlier today. You know how much like I'll look at I'll look at like my like Instagram feed and shit, and there's people that we went to school with. But, like, some of them are, like, doing, like, a little bit of modeling on the side, uh -huh. doing this on the side, and they gain a lot of followers and all this. They look like the models or something that you might be already subscribed to on on Instagram that you're not even, like, in the same state as. Yeah, yeah. And it just kind of made me thought. I'm like, I'm like, you know how many, like, everybody's their own channel. It really, dude, it, it's, it's, it's insane. Even yeah. Even, with. yeah. Like a lot of people have like thousands of, of yeah. followers on, on Instagram. It's like, I know, don't, that's, yeah. and it's just like, for me, that's a lot of work and I do, I do want to get better about it, especially, you know, cause like I have to for, for my own, yeah. uh, personal career advancement, right. but it's, but it's a lot that, of work. The thing that I felt at the same time though, was like, you know, they're not people you went to school with anymore. They're just there's people, yeah. Well, they're, they're they're just people, but they're also like, it's oh, you don't have that good. You're you're not really putting out as much content. So let me just go to the next person. I'll just I'll just unsubscribe to you, person that I knew as a person before. Mm -hmm. and that, now they're just a channel. That's another thing that fucks with me with like, you know, Tinder and shit is like you see all these pictures of people. They're like, you know, they're. They're in front of the Eiffel Tower. They're in Amsterdam. Yeah, they're shit. traveling and the world like, and everything. Dude, I have not left this city in like yeah. ten years. Yeah, yeah, like, I haven't. I need to start going out and doing more. Stuff. It's it's hard. I, I genuinely don't understand like how I and I hate being that dude that's like oh you know great job on you for traveling around on your fucking daddy's money and stuff like i don't like being that guy but at the same time it's like how, how are you, you able it? how do you do it at this point oh, dude, like I don't understand. like i know i know it's not super expensive but like especially if you're you know trying to pay for school or anything you know like you can't i can't afford to be going on all those trips and everything i really want to do study abroad i really yeah. do uh gibson uh is taking um students to uh uh italy italy i think in in the maybe it's not italy uh but he's taking them to the uk um yeah, like in the summer and i would love to yeah. go but it's like six thousand dollars and i'm like i'm right. not doing that you know something that like i've thought about recently too when it comes to traveling mm -hmm. i don't know if i'm afraid to travel outside the states why i don't know like i started thinking about it. i'm like would i really do you think you're afraid you want to go yeah. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mean, well, we went to Georgia, and that was no problem. Yeah, but I, I said like out of the out of the country. Oh, out of the country. No, I, yeah, oh, I thought like, you said out of the state. Would even go into like 
Ontario bother you? I don't know. I would love to go to Canada. I would love to, honestly. Maybe, I think Ontario would be okay. It's kind of the same... Uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not we wouldn't we wouldn't go in the summer though. That's it's for just, sure. Like, that I would totally be want to travel, but shitty. at the same time, I thought about it. And I'm like, but all of the crazy shit that can go wrong. Yeah. In the country. Are you afraid of flights? Are you afraid I of flying? I'm afraid of flying though. Okay. I hate heights. So I oh, uh, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> you would not be good at going to like Europe. Or I I actually love being on a plane, man. I don't know. I don't know what it, what it is. I love being on a plane. All the times I've you know gone back to california and everything yeah it's just i don't know I it, it, it feels like because i also feel like it wouldn't be that bad yeah it's a giant plane what type Even of that's the worst plane wait have you fly. wait have you ever been on like i've oh, never been on a plane oh you've, you've never, never been, been on a plane, plane. oh yeah. okay so you're just yeah i think your first one would would definitely fuck with you a little bit yeah, oh, yeah. You, i think you'd be a little anxious but you you get over it that's why you just don't get a seat that's close to the window yeah, and I love the window like, seat. I love like being on the window it, seat. And then it levels out, and then you land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it. yeah. It's uh, the only thing that you know. Uh, the last time I flew was awful because uh, it was I got really fucked up. Like my my sinuses and my ears and everything. Like I got sick from it because I remember the I uh, on my on my I had a layover in Dallas from California. Um, and, uh, I like literally we were taking off and, you know, I'm like, all right, this is a normal takeoff. And then all of a sudden we just go like almost like it was like a fucking spacecraft, like, and just like go almost like, I'd venture to say like 70 degrees back and just like up. And I'm like, oh, this is fucking with me hard. And like, it literally, it, I like almost it felt like i went deaf in one of my ears like i i was sick afterwards and i was all like Wasn't that was a gross smaller plane? uh i don't remember actually I, I couldn't do smaller planes yeah i don't remember well, yeah that's what that's what happened when uh we flew to florida and uh they had to redirect us and so they ended up putting on us like one of the small planes like we had to walk out onto the airfield to get onto the plane like we're talking like the yeah. little private jets because they didn't want to, they had to redirect us, and they didn't want to send us to Atlanta. Because if you've ever flown to Atlanta, Atlanta is known to be like one of the worst airports yeah. to be at. Oh yeah. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's a very, uh, it's a very big airport too. It's yeah. Very busy. Yeah. yeah. Is it worse than? It, it's not worse than Chicago, is it? Oh, probably not. I, mean, I was about to no. say because the O'Hare is like the notorious one. I've been to, I've been to both the Chicago airport and the Dallas airport. The Dallas airport fucking sucks too it is massive like i got lost in there and i almost missed my flight but it was it was it's huge i it, want to at some point we need to go to is it denver the denver airport is the one the conspiracy oh, oh one. yeah the big conspiracy yeah. one yeah the denver airport denver one. Denver uh airport. yeah i've been to the i guess i've been to the new one um oh so you did you just didn't notice everything uh, yeah i uh because i i mean that was when i last time when i flew out um, that was where my layover was, was in Denver. And I, I, yeah, I guess I just didn't notice. I didn't, well, I wasn't aware obviously. So I didn't really know to be looking for anything. And I was just kind of like head down, you know, just going through the airport by myself. Um, so I, I didn't really notice anything. What, what all exactly is the, is the conspiracy on the Denver airport? Um. So it didn't really need to be built because they already have an airport like right next to it. Right, and they're um, both still in. They both are still used, aren't they? I believe they? so. Like the old one is still used. I believe so. Yeah. Um, was there something going on with the old airport too, or is it just the newer? It's airport? just the new one. Okay. So then there's also they put a shit ton of money into it. Um, there's a lot of uh, there. The mural is the big one that represents the uh, apocalypse. Uh, in very heavy, like almost Nazism in it too. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, there's gargoyles in a fucking and an airport. airport. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. No. Uh, the statue, the blue stallion, uh, killed its owner. The guy or the sculptor. Oh yeah, yeah. His eyes, eyes glow, glow red right? at night. Oh yeah, is that a is that something that there's any like actual significant proof on, or is that just like you know a theory? Oh, it did kill the owner. No, but the the eyes glowing red at yeah, night. Yeah, that, there's yeah. pictures of it. Is I mean, there? That, yeah. It's not like supposed to be like paranormal or anything. It's, it's yeah. part of. The, oh, it's part of the statues yeah, that its eyes glow yeah, glow it's, red at night. Yeah. Oh, okay. But why would they build it that way? That yeah. is really weird. That um, is yeah, that's really weird. Um, okay. 
there also there's believed to be a underground tunnel. I remember. It. I that's the one thing I remember uh, about it. One of the most prevalent conspiracy theories in regards to Denver in Denver International Airport is that the airport was built to conceal massive top secret underground bunkers. There are multiple yeah. theories as to why these bunkers exist, including being home for aliens, uh, space used for FEMA camps, and uh, fallout shelters. Yeah, it's supposed to be fallout shelters for the uh, high for the people, rich for the rich yeah for the for the top one percent. Some believe that that's where the president goes. In the case of a doomsday. Oh, interesting. Because he he has a, he has a doomsday plane. Right. The presidents have doomsday planes. Yeah, that's where, that's interesting that they wouldn't you know just have something like that in the like the White House or something like that, yeah. like underground in the White House. But I guess that's still maybe too much of a public I don't know. public well, thing to they, they have, get they have on. Uh, planes that they uh, go that uh, they get on in, in case of the. Uh, a nuclear attack and they fly around for a while so they're not in the radiation mm. and they also have signals and stuff there it's a ridiculous plane you can look at the blue uh the diagrams online really yeah i got i'm, I'm curious i want to look at the, there's the horse I, i've seen the horse i remember he showed me a video on it a while ago but some people think that when that plane lands it's gonna land at the denver airport mm. yeah then the freemasons help make the denver airport that's the right airport. the freemasons was another big thing i remember also, about uh, new world order airport where there's a little plaque that says founded by the new world order airport association oh yeah i remember that too yeah there's that's just so like it makes you wonder like why they would make that such a so symbolic apparent. yeah like that like you all the secret you know all the secrecy regarding that stuff why would they make it all yeah. so in plain sight like they're they're it's their ticket to to let people can you know conspire and everything oh, yeah like they want it too cause yeah it brings more people in yeah that's true it's that's crazy man yeah. but like you gotta wonder if you know like it's all just like part of me wonders you know if it's just for fuckery because again because you know yeah. like nothing else would would well, they be that it when they were doing renovations they're like what is Denver hiding find out on this date when they. Re- we're we're building build completed everything. it yeah, yeah. So, so it's like they made it a theme they made it a theme yeah, for the airport but that's just it, so and weird then, and then they just run with it now that's just so weird like that 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 would be your thing yeah. you know and to, especially to have some like you know like the the what what are they called again the the group that you the you just mentioned Freemasons? yeah like you know because that's some really that's like some really weird stuff um like sort of kind of put that out there you yeah. know like well the freemasons are an open group but nobody knows what they do yeah doors, yeah right? but you know like just you putting it out you know because it's like you're not going to find that many places no. it's just things about you know like like in, in any public places just things about it you know so yeah. all right Y'all, thank you for watching. Uh, again, we f- all feel like hell. Uh, so sorry, sorry for all the the, the mad conspiracy, like s- stoner vibes. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so yes, we all like, feel like subscribe, shit. Subscribe, share, everything down below. Follow us on Pinterest. We don't have a Pinterest though. No. <laughs> Let's make one. We can make a Pinterest. Let's make a Pinterest. We're going to make a Pinterest. Not really if we're not making a Pinterest. Next episode, the gang makes a Pinterest. Sure.